This is Sun and Belle, and we're back for another segment of Taco, Taco Tuesday. Tuesday. Today, we're going to continue answering some of your questions. Yes, and it's such a beautiful day outside. We decided to film outside in our backyard. <laughs> yeah, it's a gorgeous day. We hope you're having a great, beautiful day as well. Yes, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We'll be coming back with re movie reviews. <laughs> our dog is right there. Um, and also, we'll be doing more trailer reviews as well as more Taco Tuesday episodes. Awesome. All right, the first question comes from... Sure the Wealth 247. Hey, hey Sure, sure the, wealth. the Wealth. Are you two filmmakers? Well, uh, <laughs> that is a good question, but my short answer is no. Um, my career just took me in a different career path and I have a lot of respect. It's such a hard job to be a filmmaker, um, but I'm just doing this because I love movies and yes. spending time with my sister. Absolutely the same. Um, ever since I was little, I had such a passion for films and these older movies and my parents always thought that I would be working in some sort of, you know, film industry, film yeah. business, but right now I'm studying for a different career path, mm -hmm. but yeah, we have a strong passion for movies and that would be awesome. Yeah. Look at Teddy. I know. He's thinking his butt. <laughs> Good. Good boy. Okay. Our next question comes from Wakayama Kyle. Hey, Kyle. Hey, Kyle. Any shows that you guys are looking to start next? Awesome. I'm really excited for Loki. Oh, That's, yeah. Right? It's on coming out on Disney Plus this summer. I'm a huge fan of Loki, the character. He's one of those villains that you kind of root for. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a huge fan of Tom Hiddleston, the actor. Yeah, it should be a great series. I want those. I want the WandaVision vibes back. Oh, I'm same so sad here. WandaVision is coming to an end. Yeah, do you think um, Thor is going to be in this? Chris, uh, which Chris is this? Hemsworth? Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. That would be cool. I mean, they are brothers, but I kind of doubt Chris Hemsworth would be in a TV yeah. series. I just like the fact that Loki and Chris Hemsworth are... <laughs> Loki and Chris Hemsworth. Loki and Thor. They're so they're so good at their yes. characters. They're just so... They're always, like, going back and forth. They have this love-hate relationship. I know. It's very... <laughs> and we're siblings, and we surely can understand. I'm yeah. just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Loki. <laughs> I would be. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm excited for Mayor of Easttown. That's going to be on HBO. It's actually um, starring Kate Winslet. And I haven't seen Kate. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Yeah. She plays this detective in a very small town, and she's, um, you know, a local town hero, but this mystery, this murder mystery just consumes her, and it's just, you know, how she deals with the... Wow. Yeah. That sounds interesting. Very interesting, and I love Kate Winslet, and I love murder mysteries. Yes, So that's do. one of the shows that I'm looking forward to. And the second one is actually Parasite Limited Series. Oh, you mean the Korean Parasite? Yeah. So Bong Joon-ho is partnering up with HBO, another HBO show as well, and um, they're going to be making Parasite into a limited series show, and there are rumors that Mark Ruffalo is actually going to be the main <gasps> character. I love Mark Ruffalo. Yeah, he's so good. Yeah, I actually learned more about him as a person and his life and the struggles he's been through recently, oh. and he's overcome a lot of obstacles. I'm really excited to that. see that. Yeah. Wow, okay. Well, then that makes me want to watch it even more. So that's... that's so a, it's... The Korean Parasite, the same story, but yes. with American actors? I believe so. That's what I read. Okay. I mean, it is Mark Ruffalo, so maybe they are going to tailor it to the American culture. I'm not sure. But isn't it... That's. I there mean, we all have seen Parasite, or most of us have seen right. Parasite, so wouldn't everyone go in knowing the ending? I'm not sure. They're in pre-production oh, right okay. now, so yeah, it's just all speculations yeah, at this Yeah, I'm excited. Me too. Just Another Movie underscore page. Hi, Just Hi. Another Movie. Um, they ask, movies that y'all are looking forward to this year? Awesome. Ooh. Good question. <laughs> I'm really excited for No Time to Die with Daniel Craig. Of course. It's coming out this October. Um, I love this whole Daniel Craig 007 series. Same. 007? Who says 007? 007. 007. <laughs> and I said same because that's how I see it. <laughs> Um, I think it's one of the best James Bond series of all time. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm stoked. I saw the trailer. It looks like it's going to be excellent. Same here. Do you know if this is going to be like the last like uh, movie of the series or? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I hope not. I hope not too. I think because this is the fourth one. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. 
A uh, couple other movies I'm really excited about mm-hmm. is Cruella. We Ooh, did yeah. a trailer review on it with Emma Stone. I'm excited for her. That one looks really good. It does. Emma Stone is also another favorite actress of mine. Mm-hmm. We've been watching a lot of her SNL skits. <laughs> She's, She's so, so good. Funny. She's so funny. Yeah. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Just I broke my arm. <laughs> arm. <laughs> what are, what movies are you looking forward to? Um, right off the bat, Godzilla versus King Kong. Oh, yeah. I, I really like Godzilla, but I also like King Kong. Oh, I don't know. I'm a well, King Kong girl. I hope one of them doesn't die, but I feel like that's what it's going to lead to, which would ruin me, but oh. I don't know. Okay, so that one for sure. Um, I'm really excited for two movies that stars Tom Cruise. Um, he's coming back with Top Gun <gasps> Maverick, so nice. he's... You know, it's a, I think it's been over 30 years since the first one came out. Wow. So he's returning for another Top Gun movie. And the last one is the Mission Impossible 7, which obviously we love the Mission Impossible yeah. series. He does all his stunt, stunts, which are is super, you know, respectable and just shows him as an actor. So That's incredible. Yeah. I'm excited for those two this year. We're also really excited for Luca. Oh, yeah. The Pixar film coming out on Disney+. Plus. If you haven't seen it... Check out our trailer reaction to it. It's oh our very gosh. first reaction we've ever done. So much fun. It was fun, but we're very excited for Luca. Yeah. Awesome. The Geek Collector 15. Hi, Geek Collector. Hey, Geek Collector. He asks, favorite 80s movie? Awesome. Oof. There's a lot. <laughs> yeah. I think the 80s are a great decade for films. Yeah. couple off the top of my head include E.T., Ooh, of yes, course. Of course. Spielberg at his best mm-hmm. or i don't know he has so many great movies. so many movies <laughs> um the alien movies you love the alien i do and since that's kind of horror i would think of a nightmare on elm street yes dustin hoffman in rain man oh my god and tom cruise X. Bang, the, the future, future of, of rock, rock and roll. roll oh no <laughs> let's see oh um indiana jones oh that's a good one too i'm a huge fan of harrison ford yes that's a legendary and while I think, do you want to list a couple of your favorites? Yeah, um, I, I really like The Breakfast Club. I mean, that's yeah, a classic. It is I a classic. I feel like that's the first thing I think of when I classic think of eighties. Classic eighties. Yeah. Um, Scarface with Al Pacino. Oh my gosh, I could watch that movie over and over again. That's right. I that's really a great like one. those movies. It's... We went to Miami and we went to the place where he gets violently killed. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Um, I really like RoboCop. Um, that was like late eighties though. And Die Hard with Bruce Willis. Ooh, excellent. Yeah, I like those four, I think. There's more, I just can't. Yeah, there's definitely more. And if we could think of them, we could put it in our comments or something. But What are your favorite 80s Yeah, comment down below, please. Okay, I think we have time for one more. Magers588. Hey, Magers. Hey, Magers. She asks, will you be reviewing any K-dramas? What do you think? (laughs) I love K-dramas. It's like a guilty pleasure. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, my sister loves Korean dramas. And I learn Korean that way. Like, because I, I don't really use it all the time. So it helps me, like, you know. But as far as reviewing them, the I mean, they're usually very long, like, shows. Like, multiple episodes. Like, at least 15, 16. So I don't know if we're going to be reviewing K-drama shows. But definitely Korean movies. Yeah. We are all about reviewing Korean movies. So while we love Korean dramas, Mm -hmm. like watching them, well, honestly, you more so than me. Yeah, I really like watching Korean dramas. (laughs) For me, it could get a little bit cheesy, but it's still fun to watch. It's a good escape. (laughs) (laughs) We do love Korean films, though, and I think especially lately, Korean movies are taking on a world stage. Mm -hmm. You know, Parasite winning the best picture. Yeah. Collaborating with, like, American artists. And, and filmmakers, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, exactly. Like the Snowpiercer, Okja, those yeah. also oh, are yeah. Korean movies with American actors. Oh my gosh, Okja, I forgot about that one. Yeah. That's a great movie. We're also excited for the movie Minari, mm-hmm. which I don't think it has released on Amazon Prime yet. Not yet. I okay. know it's out. You can find a way to watch it, but we haven't been able to see it yet. Okay, yeah. but we will. We're we excited. Will. So thank you for the question, Megers. Yeah, <laughs> we're excited. Thank you so much. And I think that wraps it up for today. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. We'll be back each week with more reviews. 
And don't forget to check out our very last review of WandaVision coming out next week. Yes. Until next time, friends. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye.